All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing some cupping and valve lapping on the AutoZam AZ1 um, um, head uh, for the port and polish. Um, we're going to be taking the valves out to get underneath of them. This is kind of a dangerous spot because if you mess this up, the valve will never seat again. Right there's the valves where the valve seats. So if you hit it on this one and you gouge it out, you know, like a little scratch is gonna be fine because we're gonna relap the valves anyways. But if you gouge this, it's it's really really not a good thing. <laughs> so all right, hold on. Let me first let me show you the parts. These are the keepers, the valve spring. And this is the top so very simple to get these out let me show you how easy you gotta be careful do not lose these although those look like they are probably the same as like a, a honda lawnmower motors um i have a bunch of them like even the kawasaki's it's it's very very similar so i think that i could find them if if i had to let me get you set up on the phone holder here. All right, let me show you how easy it is to get these out. And when I go to put them back in, which will be tomorrow, like I'm hoping to get my valve spring compressor in. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a socket on top. This is like about five eighths or it's just gonna fit on top there basically. And you're gonna give it a good tap. Just like that. And it comes right apart. The keepers will fall in. There's one there. And one fell in. And I'm only going to do this one row at a time. So that I don't get the valves confused. I want to put the valves right back in the hole they were. That way all I got to do is a, a minor lapping job. Alright. That simple. Alright. Let me pause you. All right, so the parts that we're going to be aiming at, here, let me get the can of car cleaner. There's a lot of dust in these things. Hold on, let me just, just get them sprayed out. All right, you see this ridge right here, right? Hold on, let me get the pointy object here. There's a ridge right here. We're going to try to eliminate that ridge. We're going to gouge it out. Um, I'm going to be using the same bit. Uh, I'm using a shorter one. This is a long one just so I can show you. But I'm going to go right in here. And I'm going to open this up. And I can get back into this way. Oh, sorry. I can get back in here. I'm just going to take a thin layer out again. But I am going to eliminate this edge right here altogether. We need to stay away from this seat. We do not want to mess that up. We don't want to touch that at all. We can get under here a little bit to the top side like this. We can open that up and then we're opening up this side over here and we're just getting rid of this thick ridge right here. We're getting rid of it. It's getting gouged down pretty deep. Now again, you got port right there. See that water port? We can't go too deep. So I'm just gonna eliminate this it reform it to where it's going to be more of a a smooth flow and open it up a little bit and uh same on this side there's no ridge really on the uh exhaust side so we're going to just open it up we're going to get this opened up a little bit no real ridge on that that's very nice looking actually very small but we're going to open it all up just a, one thin layer Get it all opened up and that's basically what's going to crap in today um here i uh, let me get my, these are the new bits that i'm using nice short ones um i basically buy new every time i'm gonna try with the egg i think that's gonna be small enough to get in here you gotta stay away from this just funny it's just the one like a lot of things have like two, three angles. This thing seems to only have, oh no, there is a, 
bit of a ridge right here on this right there there's a bit of a ridge usually they have like two or three angles some of them even have a lot more than that but I'm gonna stay away from that I don't want to mess this up there is a way to cut into this area here um, you can even enlarge the valves you they have a tool or you can change the, the angle but I, I mean that's just above and beyond what I'm gonna go and do here especially for something that's more of a you know less of a race car and more of a, a show car driver car you know it's something we're gonna drive right we're not really only we're not gonna be racing it I'd hate to get an accident in this thing in a race anyways and it, they feel fast and zippy but what are you gonna race against other auto zams you're lucky to find that you know so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started here let's get to work Notice I'm keeping a very low RPM. I'm not really trying to go fast. I don't want it to get away from me. I'm just kind of reshaping this. that I'm not really reshaping I'm just I'm just freaking um, taking a thin layer off let me get this turned to where I can see it better on the other side to be able to get into this with this you know and polish it out too so I need to be able to get it in and then start spinning it so this is gonna work out this side on the other hand I'm gonna have to after these get worn down a little bit I have to you know try them then they'll fit in there once they're worn out a little bit but I think we're doing pretty good here look at that we got rid of that lip it's going actually pretty quickly I'm very happy with it um, I do want to get a little bit more here on the top edge just to see where it's dark there and I didn't quite get in there uh, you know what no no that's that metal for the seat I'm not messing with that so, so I did go in a little bit more here where that line was that was actually aluminum and I needed to get rid of that um, got up in there just a little bit a nice straight flow you see how that is so basically air is coming right through he through here and it's gonna be able to go straight out real nice and easy that's 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 gonna look real that's gonna do really well now let's uh 
let's go ahead and start doing some work on it. And this one, this is the intake. I don't want it smooth. 36 grit would be the most I would go on sandpaper to this. Right, let's get on this exhaust side and see what we got. Um, again, just going to take a thin layer out of this. Just to see what we got going on. You guys see that still? Yeah, kind of. Not gonna be able to open this up as good as I did the intake, which kind of sucks. I really wish I could make a big difference, but it's just not gonna happen like I want it to. Try to find an angle I can grind on this, and you guys can still see. that uh, I am going to get up in here see there's a bit of ridge there um, I'm gonna hit it with a polisher I don't like that at all so we're gonna get in there with the polisher and just work them lines a little bit um, and then that should be pretty much that Again, we're just going to do the exhaust side 
these fit in there nicely. I'm going to chew through them very quickly, I think. That's all right. They're cheap. $20 for a bunch of them. So, I don't care about that. Be careful, don't get in that seat at all. And starting to shine it up in there that's nice very nice oh yeah that is looking awesome all right get it in past the seat before you start grinding And then also this top here. It doesn't have to be super smooth on this. You really don't even have to do these. I'm just trying to uh, make it so it's not as bad. All right, let me go ahead and use up the rest of this bit here. get the next size up I think it's yellow green red black we're gonna try to get this thing in there there we go work it in there there it goes takes a bit you gotta wear it down real quick Oh yeah, she's shining up good. And we're gonna we're gonna go through this. See how much shinier that is. We're gonna go through this whole bit, and then we'll go to the next bit. There's a red one. You see, it's nice and shiny in there. It's getting really pretty. I'm gonna work the red one down in there. It's kind of a pain to get them in there, and it, it'll make a bunch of mess at first. There we go. Get another layer, another bit shinier. And I'll go through this whole bit. And then we're going to get into the black one. We get it shoved in there. And we're going to work that one out. And you can see that thing is just really glossing up inside of there. And that's what we want. We want the exhaust polished out real nice. Just as good as we can get it, really. So I'm going to go through this whole bit here. And that will be the end of the 
this one set of intake and exhaust valves, uh, except for the lapping it in, which I'll do next. I'm going to label each of these sets here. That way I know what ones are what. So this is bag number one. So I know what valves go where. Because I'm going to have to take all these out and, and do all of these. And then i got to relap them all in. Um, you know, and then put them in. And I want it to use the same, same set that came out of the cylinder. So... I'm gonna go ahead and oh, how many how much time is on this video here all right I'm gonna stop this video I'm at 20 minutes on this video um, hopefully that that's the cupping of the of the head um, hopefully that helped you out uh, if it did in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button um, I'm going to shut this video off and do another video of the lapping the valves in so you can get an idea how you lap the valves in um, and then I'm going to go down through the line and do all these. All right. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you want to do any advertising, message me. Peace.